Congratulations on the film. Thanks very much. Um, so many important things to, to unpack with it. I, uh, what was it that kind of drew you to this? Because I know it kind of stemmed from after you, well, when you were doing uh, Daniel Blake, that this the zero hour contract thing kind of piqued interest mm -hmm. in, in both mm -hmm. your lives. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, lots of things go into it. You can't just lay your finger on, on one thing, but when we, did, when we did visit the food banks, it was remarkable to see how many people who were working were running out of money and needed food at the end for their families. I mean, that, that is pretty stunning, isn't it? And it demonstrates something really radical is changing underneath. Three out of four children just now in poverty have someone who's in work. So that contract has broken down. So it begs the question, what's going on in work? But what's happening in families? And I suppose really we wanted to... This Having a family was a safe distance from Daniel Blake. Still connected to it because it was, it was about people's lives. But, um, you know, we wanted to look at the intimacy of a family. A mum and dad... You know, a teenager, a young kid who's a young girl who's, who's eleven lies a chain, and just see how work and the economy, you know, bleeds into their lives, and just ask some questions about it. Yeah, because it's I mean not just about all that kind of stuff. It does impact people's mental health and and all that kind of stuff. I mean, for mm -hmm. you, Ken, as a storyteller, why why this story? Why did you want to tell it, particularly particularly now? Because it's something that needs to be addressed. Um, well, it's the connection between the the public world of the economy and work and the private world of families and the the stress that comes from insecurity insecure work a jobs that can end overnight uh, jobs where you have no holiday pay no sick pay you might have to work 12 hours a day even to stay out of debt families where both have to work but and the irony is for the care worker debbie She's showing great care to the old people she visits, but she's not at home to give the care her kids need. And, and she's trying to, I think, a familiar thing for many working people, particularly working women who usually carry the burden, trying to organise their kids' tea over the phone. It's in the fridge. You know, eat it. Don't spend all night on the computer. Get to bed. And so on. Do your homework, you know. And that stress just seemed a story that millions of people will know but we just don't talk about it yeah um, I was talking to some people the other week about um, the film Official Secrets and they said how with the news side of things that news kind of get because of the way we consume news things kind of get lost and how important mm -hmm. films are to kind of shine a light on these things for mm -hmm. you two as filmmakers how important is film to kind of shine a light on these things that in the news may not get picked up or may be construed in the wrong uh, way well, I mean, I suppose story is, is I mean, there's a, there's a time and a place for brilliant documentaries and for brilliant journalism, you know, for, uh, yeah, and, and also for story. But the great thing about story is you can be intimate, you know, you can go in close, you can try and imagine their internal life as well. You can, you can get some sense of the intricacy of different relationships, you know, father to daughter, you know, mother to son, and how it all bleeds out, and you can kind of try and tell all of that, you know, in two hours, which is a very special challenge, mm -hmm. but, I, but I think it can be very mm -hmm. helpful. Um, sorry, I mean, I, I think mm -hmm. one thing is very important. Mm -hmm. You won't hear these stories in the news because the news <coughs> is controlled by the right-wing press, who Wonder System says it is, is controlled by the broadcasters, the BBC is controlled by p appointments by government, they, they support the status quo, ITV follows suit. The news, who writes the news? are people who present their view of the way the world is and the way it's run, and they support the interests of those who are in control. They are the establishment, and the establishment is not some, you know, toffs in bowler hats. Well, they are that, but they're also people with their hands on power, and they won't give that up. So don't expect to see these stories in the news, because they've got an interest in keeping them out. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys, Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey, 